Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with a spicy Reddit story for you. This one is titled, Am I the Askinaut for Ruining My Wife's Birthday by Disinviting Her from a Theatrical Performance She Was Looking Forward to Because She Chose a Weekend Road Trip Over Staying for a Crucial Household Responsibility? It's complicated. Just based on the length of the title, this seems a little complicated. My 30 male wife, 31 female, have been together for five years in total. She works from home and I work from the office. I was sent by my team across the state lines for a week and was set to return on Tuesday. Now, this weekend was extremely crucial for one of us to be there as the landlord was sending over professionals to get the vents cleaned out. Currently, the temperatures are fine and we don't need AC, but soon we will. Also, the next time the professionals will be available through the landlord will be several weeks from now, and by that time, summer would have already rolled in. I had requested my wife to stay put on the weekend I was going away because the landlord was doing it free of charge, and if we were to have professionals ourselves, we would have to pay a couple hundred dollars. It's important for us to get the the vents clean since we turn on the AC. One day, there was a terrible smell. Maybe a rat died in the thing, and we quickly closed them up and have since been opening the windows. I was out of state assuming the vents were cleaned out. When I returned, my wife said that she was invited on a road trip by her girlfriends and she couldn't say no as she hadn't seen them in a long time. I was furious for being so irresponsible. I told her, fine, the extra cost for getting the cleaners now will be deducted from her fund money account. We have three bank accounts, our two individual accounts for fund money, and one joint account. She absolutely refused, saying that I get to go out and have fun and beers while she works from home and deserves an outing and didn't think of saying no. Uh Edit, we both had agreed she would supervise things, and she never let me know that she went out with her friends. I never gave her orders. Okay, so this was a mutual agreement. And then when she went out with her friends, he only found out after the fact. But this was an important job to fix, and I wanted and I wanted her to act like my partner for once. This caused an argument, but for but no resolution, and she kicked me out of our bedroom. This made me more mad than her refusal to pay in full or staying home. I felt emasculated for being kicked out of my own goddamn bedroom, and, and that too for three nights. Her birthday was also coming up in a few days, and I had managed to score some tickets for a musical theater performance in our city. They're fairly exclusive, and she was looking forward to us going, and she's a big fan of what they were going to be performing that night. I disinvited her, and she flew into a mad rage. I told her that this is her consequence for what she did, prioritizing a road trip and kicking me out of our room, and didn't do, staying home for the professionals and agreeing to compensate from her fun money account. I instead extended an invite to my other friend, who happily accepted, and we went. Oh, okay. Even on her birthday, she took the time and effort to dress up and presented herself to me and casually said if we are supposed to leave by now. It's almost as if she forgot what happened, still thinking I wouldn't go through with what I said I'd do. I shrugged my shoulders and said she was delusional for even thinking that. I left the house with her looking paler than ever. It was oddly satisfying. When I came back, she was crying, but still looked like she was seething. She screamed at me for ruining a birthday over a few hundred dollars and said she can never forgive me for what I did. I reminded her she kicked me out of our room. How can she expect me to be nice to her? And that I was glad to know she was miserable all day. Did I go too far? And here to give us some insight on this is the one and only Candy Thunder. Oh my God, it's Candy Thunder! It's... For me, it's E-S-H, um, but he sucks way <laughs> harder than she does. Sorry. He's more of an asshole than she is. Let's just... Wow. He's got more powerful suction. I said what I said. You're not her dad, dude. You don't get to dish out consequences because she messed up. And she did mess up. She agreed to do something. She didn't do it. She should have just communicated that she wasn't going to be there to the landlord. He could go in without her there. Like, I don't see why that would be an issue. They just needed their vents cleaned out. Which it is gross. If you get an animal that dies in your vents, it's terrible. It's gross. It's, We've had it happen. Yeah. It was a snake. I don't I don't think what she did was um, for tit for tat. Like, it feels like what he did was to teach her a lesson and to punish her like she was a child, not an adult. I think she had an opportunity and did it and didn't think twice. And she did mess up because she agreed to be there for this specific thing. Um, like, that's minor asshole behavior but him saying that he got some kind of what was his word was oddly oh satisfying. yeah that he was satisfied by the fact that he made his partner feel like shit on her birthday to me that's that's divorce like that i don't i'm not coming back from that if you're oddly satisfied by making me feel like shit like i don't i don't think you can come back from that because that's why well, here's here's my question 
why did she feel like she couldn't tell him that she was choosing to go I out don't. with her friends? That that's well, I mean, based on the way that he the way that he wrote this, um, to me he says that he didn't give her a choice whether or not she was going to be staying home. He yeah. says he didn't, but it 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 well, I, I, I landlords have like keys. Like if some if yeah. they had to yeah. come in and yeah. fix something in our office. You don't have like, to be. We don't have to it. be yeah. here for them to come in and fix something in our office. As long so as why you would... approve it, yeah. I mean, you yeah. they you could have easily easily said that. Um, I mean, there... she did agree to be there, but it yeah it something else came up. She should have communicated. Ask on three. There move is... on from that and fix the problem. But go ahead. I would agree. I'm sorry. Um, there are a couple of things that I think signal how their relationship structure is, and that. In the beginning, he gave her orders, right? Gave her order. Well, he said that he didn't. It was a mutual a mutual decision. However, when you presented it to us, good sir, it was very much presented as I told her what to do. There's a reason you edited your post to tell her, to tell everyone yeah. that you agreed. Because you were getting ripped apart for it. Yeah, you made it look like you told her what to do. That's how it was written previously before your edit. And then reinforced it when shit hit the fan by trying to dole out a consequence slash punishment. That's... Does not does not help your case here. Those two things definitely signal a uh, how 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 your relationship is structured or how how you do things. And there is definitely yeah. not a team balance approach going on here. It's an everyone sucks here because of a breakdown in communication. I think her not telling you was intentional because you would have flown off the handle if she told you um, before the mm -hmm. fact. If she she asked for forgiveness rather than permission, because otherwise she wouldn't have been able to go do this thing with her friends. There there probably was another option, whether it was bringing in a friend or a relative or somebody to right. sit at the house when they were supposed to be there. There were other options there. The imbalance and the way that you approach this is in a very controlling way, and that's what doesn't help your case here. And no, and I think the that cherry we... on top of all this shit is being satisfied and happy to see your wife miserable on her <laughs> birthday. Yeah, and I don't think Ugh. anyone is disagreeing that the wife should have communicated that she sure. that other plans came up. I think that everyone is in agreement that she should have said something. Um, but I would I would never like if you said you were going to do something and didn't do it. My first instinct would not be to beat you like a child, and your first instinct would not to be you wouldn't want to see me hurt because I messed up something. No, no. But the difference is in in a teamwork kind of approach, it would have been both people finding a solution together in the first place from this when there needed the to be truth. a modification yeah. whenever if you want you got invited out on a once in a lifetime girls trip it would have been okay who else can we get to cover this right that would have been a conversation between the two of us and then let's say that fell apart and we still didn't get the service that we needed to get done after the fact you and i together would find a solution for how to how to move forward yeah. from it it would not it would not be lopsided at any point in time no if i if something came up you would be my first call like, I would be like, hey, this is an opportunity. Like, I really want to do this. You just communicate to your partner. And whether or not she communicated, she, like, we don't know the answer if she didn't communicate because she felt like she couldn't or she didn't communicate because that's who she is. Yeah. As it stands right now, she's a three and he's a one, in my opinion. That is not a marriage. That does not a marriage make. Yeah. And kicking him out of the room is is just engaging in battle. Yeah. You know, it certainly didn't make her less of an asshole. But it's that is that is when they're they're trading blows at that point. Right. 